This one's titled, I don't want to be weighed. All right, we've seen this. I've, I've seen this face before. What's in the box? Like I have PTSD and I don't speak about PTSD lightly. So if you, if anyone here suffers from it, like take it lightly in this sense, but I am definitely traumatized by watching some of these videos. And I'm sure a lot of you are the same. So when I see the eyes and I see this person like pop, I'm like, oh, I feel like this has, tra I feel like this is something I've seen before. And I think I've seen your face. The eyes, Chico. They never lie. <laughs> God damn. All right. This is titled, I don't want to be weighed. Uh, no one wants to be in the same room as you. So deal bet. I don't want to step on the scale at the doctors. I say, oh, I don't want to be weighed today. I and the doctor says, well, I don't fucking care about your, what you want. I don't want to take this blood thing. I don't want to do this. I don't. This is my job. This is what I do. Shut the fuck up or go somewhere else. Like, don't go to the doctor then. Okay. I have to stop it because it's so stupid. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Fuck me. It hurts. Okay. Here we go. I want to talk about my fatness at the doctor. I say, oh, I'm not here to talk about my weight. I'm here to talk about fill in the blank, whatever the issue actually is. If which is probably your lifestyle habits, which is why you're morbidly obese. Your lifestyle habits couldn't have anything to do with why you're 300 fucking pounds. I don't want to talk about my weight. Okay. Then. This isn't a therapy session. Like, hmm, what do you want to talk about today? Hmm. Well, I want to talk about what my problem is. The problem is you live on cake. You're living on fucking cake. Your lifestyle habits suck, which is why you're in the doctor's office, most likely. I want to talk about whatever the issue is. Couldn't be related to your fucking lifestyle habits, could it? Couldn't be. You couldn't be morbidly obese because of what you do every fucking day. Let's not talk about that. God, stupid fucking people. Another Jesus example of Christ. cake gender would be if someone feels like they have different layers or flavors to their particular gender. Are you the reason why everyone's got to wait for an hour at the doctor's office? You're the reason, right? You're in there complaining. I don't want to do my weight. They refuse to test me for certain things because of my fatness. I say I would like it noted in my chart that you are refusing to test me for I'm going to stop you right there. What doctor refuses to test you? What doctor is refusing a test? They get paid for it. What are you talking about? They get to build the insurance companies. What doctor is like, nah, we don't want to run a test. Nah, we're not going to do that. X, Y, and Z. Something I've never said, but I've thought about is. I'm going to the fucking gym. Something you've never, <laughs> something you've never said. <laughs> I'm not going to eat this cake. Okay. All right. All right. I'll, 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 I digress. Let's continue. Something I've never said, but I've thought about is, oh, it sounds like you are not up to date on the latest research about fat bodies. I highly recommend the maintenance phase podcast. <laughs> not all boundary phrases work for all people or all situations. Is that a disclaimer at the end of your video? Note to self, all boundaries for pages, not situations, you know, see Jim for details. Okay. What was this? Oh, sounds like you're not up to date with the latest research about fat bodies. All right, I'm going to move right along because I can I could spend so much time ranting on this, but we'll, we'll save it. We'll save it. A rock Shut up, touch. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Michelle Clifford sponsored that soundboard. Why don't you guys sponsor the soundboards when you you have something? Boom, just drop it. Boom. You, everyone thinks it's me. Papa Swole, you're so rude. The Swole fam's like, shut up, bitch. <laughs> uh, Matt Damon, indeed. Matt Damon. Okay, um, let's see. Look, if you're going to the doctor, why are you going to the doctor? Some people go for general checkups. If you're going for a general checkup, usually you don't have anything going on that's so severe. If it's a general checkup, you're going up, hey, getting some blood work done. There are issues in itself with general blood work, unless you're getting advanced profiles and who's reading it. And if your doctor's up to date with like actual, you know, fitness and nutrition. But that being said, if you're going for a general checkup, oh, it's my annual. Okay. You're just going in, whatever. But if you're going into the doctor at any other time, why are you going to the doctor? It's not a general checkup for no reason. Like, hey, let's see if there's something going on. You're going there for a reason, correct? You're going to the doctor for a reason. Why are you at the doctor? Because as the person mentioned, she has a problem. 
Hmm. Couldn't be your fatness. I'm not here to talk about my fatness. I'm here to talk about my chronic blah, blah, blah. Do you see how stupid that sounds? I'm not here to talk about my morbid obesity. I'm here to talk about the reason why I have chronic migraines. Maybe it's because you're eating literal trash all the time. I'm not here to talk about the result of all my lifestyle habits. Yeah, you're just morbidly obese for no fucking reason. And the reason why you're in the doctor's office has nothing to do with your lifestyle habits. Has nothing to do with what you do all the time. Now, she doesn't break down what she eats all the time. I always say, if we ever got a breakdown, a complete log, a checklist of everything that this person eats, every habit, like, okay, 9.05 a.m., ate five cookies. 9.07 a.m., went back and ate three more fucking cookies. Just saying. If we had all that day to day, moment by moment for an entire week, I'm sure we could figure out why this person's obese. 